there has been a lot of questions about how can you bring in a model that you've done somewhere without the uvs into substance painter just in case you want to you know get brand new uvs cut out properly for you and you don't want to go through the hurdles of creating uvs yourself and at the same time you want to be able to delete the uvs which has been pre-made by the 3d software that you're working with so one thing to note is in recent times most of the 3d softwares that you work with these days they automatically create uvs for you today we're going to look at how you can work with both maya and blender how you can delete your uvs and at the same time how you can easily move things from maya blender to substance painter and automatically create uvs that you can work with and starting off directly here in maya you can see we have this lovely model that has been made available by one of our students and you know we can simply just select this and check out what the uv looks like before we actually get started so if you want to check out your uvs you can either come over here where you can go to the uv editor and you can see that we have a huge disaster of a uv of course you can fix a couple of things here by simply using you know the automatic uv which you can find directly within the poly modeling and simply hitting here would create an automatic uv for you now this automatic uv that you create would actually place things based on you know the proportions that they are and this is doing a great job at the same time you can notice that if you choose to turn on the checker shading you are going to have some very very messed up stuff so if you just jump back into the object mode and you have your object like this you can simply come over to this part called uvs and you can scroll all the way down and simply delete uvs now once you delete these uvs and open this up so i'm going to select and open this up one more time you would notice that we practically have no uv so there is no uv for this object right now and of course if you're rendering this you can still render this object but now you cannot actually apply proper textures to this you can play with the triplanar projections but of course that is the most that you can get so how can you get this out of here into substance painter so by simply deleting the history you would notice that you would delete all of the histories that you have here so all of the things that have built up to this particular model here or maybe the changes that you've made over a period of time the transforms that you've actually inherited you're going to be able to delete those so i'm going to come over to the edit menu delete by type and simply delete the history and so once you've deleted the history next thing which you need to do is fire up substance painter and so if you have the plugin installed you can simply use the od copy which you can use to copy and then you can go over to substance painter and paste or you can simply select the object and export that particular selection and with that exported we're going to jump into substance painter and open up this directly in substance painter and once you're opening this in substance painter if it dictates that it doesn't have uvs it's going to go through and automatically create cool and you know interesting uvs for you so this is actually one of those very interesting things that you can play with and you can go through and work with this and so with this done you can see that we have some very cool uv sets here contrary to what we have in maya you can see you know i guess this is way more prioritized okay so i think this is way more prioritized and you can see what we have here the next thing which you need to do is just simply go through and bake this stuff so in case you want to get some very cool stuff you can just simply bake the mesh i don't want the id and i'm just going to click on bake this is going to be relatively easy and clean since it's one mesh and we'll have that baking done and you can now go through and start creating textures for yourself so you may want to play with some smart materials you know just come over to the smart material section and i guess everyone kind of makes use of the machinery so why not play with it so we can just go over and select the machinery right now and just throw this on top and by just simply throwing this on top you can see this is looking really clean and very very well done so you can use this in case you're coming from maya and in case you want to create uvs without actually creating them directly in maya so with this done let's go over to blender and talk about how you can do that in blender so with blender open what we have here is susan the monkey and by default just like maya blender do create uv go over to the uv editor and select this object as it is press the tab key you're going to notice that we have our uvs here so one thing which i like to do first of all is 
you know, press the tab key one more time, jump back to object mode and apply the subdivision because I like my subdivisions proper. Then I'm going to go over to the object properties, which you can find here. Go to this section called UV map and just turn off the UV map. So you can delete the UV map from here or remove it like it's called. And if you have multi UV map sets, you can also delete this from here. So in case you're working with UDIMS or you're working with multi UV maps, you can simply see them from here. I'm going to click here to remove them. So I'm just removing that. And I think this time the best thing for us to do is to take a look at the OD copy and paste since we use the default method of transferring files earlier in Maya. So for the OD copy and paste, once you have it installed, you can come over here within the object section and you can go over to the copy to external. And by simply clicking on copy to external, it's going to copy this. All right, it's going to copy this and you can come over to your substance painter. So I want to create a brand new workspace now or brand new, you know, file. And I'm also going to come here where I have it installed for substance painter and click on the paste. So this is going to go through, copy that from Blender and simply paste it directly here. So if we don't have UVs, it's going to also create UVs automatically for us as it pastes this object directly in here. So you can see that from here, Substance Painter has gone through to create this for us. Of course, it doesn't really look like what you can get if you're working in Blender or Maya by simply hand cutting this, but it does a very good job in case you don't want to cut these UVs by hand and you just want it to be automated. I kind of think that some of these things should be automated. Things like retopology, things like UVs. I kind of think that most of the tasks that has to do with these things should be automated. So if you have something like this done and ready, of course, you may want to simply, you know, bake in case you want to have some bakings you may want to bake this and at the same time you may want to apply certain materials to them so we're also going to play with the machinery thing which we had earlier and i can just simply click this take it over to this place and drop and you can see we have some very fine looking stuff that you can play with so this is basically what i would like to share with you guys today so in case you're working with substance painter or in case you're working with any 3d app and you're contemplating about cutting uvs or deleting uvs these are ways that you can work with these things and in case you're having issues with you know working with substance painter we have a whole lot of videos that talks about stuff about substance painter and at the same time if you want to check out the new udim that exists in blender 2.82 uh, there is a link in the description that you should check out and also an end note to that video as well and other stuff that you may also have as questions please put them in the comment section and i will do my best to get to you guys and of course if you like this video you learned something from this go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next upload and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.